Coldercott Primary School is a two form entry school. That means there's two classes in each year group. We've got 16 classes all together. The ethos here is really special. It's built on really strong relationships and it's a very caring ethos. That's relationships between parents and staff and also between the staff and the children and the whole community. Our vision here is happy learners aiming high. Children need to be happy before they can learn. They need to have those solid foundations and feel comfortable in their surroundings. Our key values in the school are the five R's. These are respect, responsibility, resourcefulness, resilience and reflectiveness. So these values are embedded deeply into our school. So from the minute one child starts in the nursery at age two or three for most children, these values are developed through lessons, through assemblies, through the children's everyday experience in the school. So that when they leave our school, they leave as well-rounded, strong, resilient, resourceful and respectful children ready to move on to that next phase of their school life. The results of these key values mean that within the school, the behaviour is very calm, the children are very respectful to one another, they're resourceful within the classrooms, which really helps them with their learning. They're resilient, so if they make a mistake, they're able to pick themselves up, carry on, use it as a learning experience, and it affects the whole experience of the children's school life. What's really key here is that focus on the whole child. So every child is individual and unique, and that means that our curriculum needs to cater for that. So our curriculum needs to make sure that we give children access to great musical experiences, great science experiences, art, PE. It's the whole curriculum here at Coldercott. There's a strong pastoral team here and where particular needs are identified, often by parents, sometimes by class teachers and then in discussion with parents, we support children to help them to thrive. It's really important to utilise your local area and that's something that we do all the time here at Coldercott. We have partnerships with um, local science laboratories, with the Oxford University, giving children those really meaningful real life experiences. For example, at the moment we've got a clean air project that our year fours are doing. We also have lots of musical opportunities for the children here at Coldercott. In year three, every child learns the violin. We have music specialists that come in and teach the weekly lessons and the children get lots of enrichment activities, for example, our choir performing at local venues. We're extremely lucky to benefit from such extensive grounds within our school and we use that for our sports offer. So we have lots of clubs, after school clubs, but also we take part in partnership competitions and ensure that the children get a really good PE curriculum. I'm really lucky at Caldecott School to have wide open spaces for the children to roam around and explore in, such as Forest School and the meadow and the pond and our lovely willow sculptures. We've also got a garden, uh, especially for uh, foundation stage children, that's an outdoor classroom. It's a classroom with a sky where they can explore and learn and play and all of the things that we do inside we want to bring to the outside. And we have a forest school site that's key for particularly our younger children who go there every week to experience nature, but also for our science curriculum right through the school. The early years is a really important part of a child's journey and it's an area that we really focus on as a school. The children here develop as young leaders on their journey through the school. By the time they're getting to year six, they're able to apply for several different leadership posts, for example, sports leaders, reading champions and this really helps them to develop and grow as people. Well, I think I'd sum up it, it's a really good school and I've loved it. At first I was a bit confused because I actually come from Portugal and it was hard learning a new language but the teachers helped me with it and my first teacher was really nice and she kept smiling and she kept saying you can do this and she really cheered me on. Teachers are really friendly in the school when it comes to people that are stuck with their learning. They'll help you as much as you need it. Sometimes we go outside, we do drama, we do science experiments. That's actually really helpful because it gets a lot of ideas into your head.
I like everything about this school and it just makes people feel really welcome. If there's a new person at this school, everyone will try their best to make them feel welcome and as if they fit in. We offer after school club and breakfast club, which is childcare for parents. So breakfast club begins at quarter to eight in the morning and after school club finishes at half past five. We also offer a range of extracurricular activities. The thing that I really enjoy about every day is just interacting with the children. I always start each morning greeting all the children on the playground or at the gate and it's just a joy to see them. Also within their classrooms, when I see them, when they're learning, or when they're happy in their learning and when they make those breakthroughs, that's always so special. The staff here are incredible. They're such a caring team and they will always go the extra mile for children. It's about working together and we're a real learning community, always making sure that we're developing and thinking, what can we do next? How can we improve things even more for these children? What I'm most proud of as the head teacher here is the way that those year sixes are ready for that journey into secondary school and the way that I can see those core values shining through within those children.